what do you call a man with no arms and no legs in a hole? Phil. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails. Today we're in the plan, which is uh, an older series, that, sorry, but it checks out. It's a series that I used to do a weekly that talked about the news that happened around the hollow tables that CG did, things, the community did things, um, just in general Star Wars did things, and I talk about this, and we're going to talk about all of the new releases that just came out today, folks, um, of the, the road ahead, uh, maybe we could call it the raid ahead of course uh, we, we're doing that again we also have uh, malikos being released we have a new galactic legend being released and, and announced we have a new kit for leviathan we have uh, just 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 a lot guys there's there it is just a lot that's what she said but there's um the, uh, a thing that we need to just clear up real quick, folks. Um, I, I put out a video recently that said that I thought Galactic Legend Leia was probably coming out. And uh, I even said that Rex was going to be released in a marquee soon. I predicted this. I didn't have any foreknowledge of it. And I thought that he would be a requirement for Leia. And I, that my faith in that had been shaken just a little bit by the fact that <laughs> then they started requiring clones for the Zepho mission. I was like, oh no, I hope that Captain Rex wasn't a requirement just for that. And that was the only reason he was released. But um, then uh, he, we, we did find out that he's a requirement now for Leia. And um, I also put out uh, another video recently that talked about the timelines of when we'd be getting the new Cal Kestis drops, uh, you know, the event, and the new the, the Leviathan stuff. And whereas I was off by a little bit, I was able to predict most of it. And I don't know. I, I've been wrong in the past, I will be wrong in the future, and I just want to take the moment to bask in the fact that I told you guys so. <laughs> it just feels good, that's all. Nothing nasty. The people who hated on me and said I was a fool, um, it, do it does feel good that to know that you're wrong, but, uh, you know, and I was right, of course, um, but that it's just a good double, double thing, double whammy, uh, a twofer, maybe, um, but <laughs> there's actually no hard feelings, it just feels good to be right, and who knows, but the next, like, 20 prediction videos I put out will probably just be wrong. Uh, so, before we move forward, though, folks, let's, um... Let's say thanks to my patrons. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are, yeah, like I said, awesome. That I couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you so much, truly. Uh, you, you, it means the world to me, folks. Um, and also, guys, just a reminder that if you want to support this channel for free, all you got to do is hit the like button, subscribe, and comment. Uh, mount, mount the algorithm, guys. The algorithm is never wrong. Is what I hear. I, I don't know what it means, but that's what I hear. And as as I said before, like I, I, I'm good at um, piecing things together, clearly. All right, so there's a there's a new raid, folks, um, and it's for Endor. And this this slide here kind of abruptly, kind of uh, you know like shoves that aside for a sec and looks at like what happened with the last raid release. Like this this raid release kind of surprises me. I I was thinking we'd have a new raid in a year after like a year after. The crate raid released, and so I was. They released this new one, and I was. Oh man, not my favorite thing. We'll talk about that in just a sec. But the crate raid release. So just so we know what kind of time frames we're looking for when they were when they announced the crate raid, it was in. It was on February seventh. It was in the road ahead for February, and uh, they gave us more information in April, and they launched the damn thing on May third. I guess they were trying to go for May the fourth or something. It's pretty cool. Um, so it's essentially three months after the announcement, give or take a few days. And uh, so if we can, if we follow the same time frame, it looks like that that would be in October. That doesn't really fit what they said that it was going to be at the end of the year. It said like fall slash end of year. I mean, so th they did it in. They did it for um, the the 
May the 4th celebration. I wonder if they're, tr they're gonna try to release the raid, like, for our, like, game anniversary in, in November. I think that would make kind of sense, so sometime in November. However, if, if they wait all the way until November, remember, remember the 5th of November, or, or the 3rd, whatever it is, um, the November 3rd would just give us six months total of having done the the crate raid which the crate raid isn't something that i just love folks it's not something that i'm real excited about all the time but it's also um uh, you know like I, I would love it they said that they might make it so that we don't have to do it as much anymore like they they sent out that that like questionnaire for us to fill out and i'm hoping that means we don't actually have to do it uh, more like i hope that they reduce the cadence of it however uh that doesn't mean i wanted a new raid that this is this is crazy the new requirements are you know they're new characters and it makes it makes a lot of the characters right now it's like well I was gonna work on Tuscans, but I don't know if I'm gonna work on Tuscans anymore. Frankly, it's it's a little bit disconcerting, folks. Uh, so, like, what should what should we do in the light of this? Because it suddenly becomes it's like, well, if people started working on Tuscans like one month before the crate raid ended, you would be like, dude, don't even bother. Like, it's not that good. Uh, Tuscans, you know, they 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 wouldn't it wouldn't be as good. Uh, however. Now we're we're spending we're spending our time and effort doing this stuff. And hold on, a second. I'm gonna get in my head of myself here, folks. Uh, yeah. So, in, anyways, the there, there's this situation here where it, it there's it becomes less awesome, less worth it to actually spend money or spend resources on these raid characters because it's like are the Tuscans really gonna be in the next raid? And that that's been the thought for a while, and. Uh, now, now it's kind of come out that, no, not really, it's, it's probably not going to be worth it, especially if it's going to only take for, take six months. So, uh, I don't, I don't love that, guys. I don't love that our investments are going to be kind of thrown in the trash. However, I do think that, uh, honestly, I kind of don't think this is going to be their usual planned cadence for re releasing it. I, what I think it, it all kind of adds up to is that... The crate raid is kind of a test run. Like they they released a lot of information about the raid beforehand, uh, or previously. Uh, like as they were releasing it, there was like, oh, like that's cool. Like they talked about different waves in raids, but of course this one doesn't have have waves. And they talked to, they talked about other raids so much that you had to know that some other raid was at least in some kind of planning process. I didn't really think it would be in as advanced a process as it kind of is being shown to be now like this is that this is clearly something they knew about as they released the crate raid if this is you know they, they work like six to what nine months in advance something like that and so they clearly knew that that the the endor raid was going to be coming uh but they they were always talking about adding more complexity to it more more uh stuff uh, more scope uh, and honestly, Jabba has been everywhere. He is super important, and he's been he's been everywhere. I mean, all the new requirements. We had the Smuggler's Run too. We had like every single layer of the the territory battle. That now they he's central to the raid teams, getting the very best scores. He is he's really good in PvP and PVE. Like just an amazing, amazing character. But at the same time, it's like well, you you can't just have the same guy be dominant forever. And so if they ever released another Galactic Legend, then we would have to have them take center stage. And Jabba kind of just step or slither, waddle, roll a little bit back, you know, um, and, you know, and make way for them. And so I, I kind of think that I think the crate raid was more of a test run for CG. They were like, hey, maybe, um, you know, we're just gonna do release like a relatively simple raid with you know five factions. We're not gonna do anything too ambitious. We're not gonna have a ton of waves. We're just go we're not gonna make a ton of like we're gonna just kind of figure it out. We'll figure out you know get all the things stamped out like the raid currency stuff has you know it's been controversial. There's been issues and they need to they needed to have something that was so relatively simple to work with. And so I think 
this is probably like, well, okay, we were gonna have to release another Galactic Legend uh, soon, you know, like it, it within like the year, uh, you know, the. So why don't we why don't we do this like test raid, and then we'll release this Galactic Legend to go with, to go with a, a new raid, and then that they'll kind of just like follow each other. So then the next Galactic Legend after Leia, will get a raid to go with them, and, and obviously that that might not end up being how it works. Um, but se second thing I, I would like to point out though, folks, like what should we do here? Um, for because the crate raid, we we still have three months ish of the crate raid, maybe less, but probably around three. And uh, Jabba himself and his team, obviously, they're they're all going to be very worthwhile long term, very very strong. And they still got he still got uh, his fingerprints in all the different cookie jars. He's he's very very important. The question is like, are Tuscans worth it? Uh, they're they're good at PvP. They're not good at PvE, at anything in PvE other than the raid, and if they're not good at the raid, they're not great. So, like, Tuskins are someone I would kind of taper back on if it's, that's not something you're that interested in. Uh, because, yes, they're strong in PvP, but not, like, that strong. Maybe eventually we'll see. We'll see them, like, take more more transcendent roles, but, you know, like, Tuscans, may maybe we can stop doing that. Um, honestly, I, I would just say, in general, if you're a guild, I would start looking at, like, try to get more, keep working on Jabba unlocks, but then otherwise, just kind of pump the brakes a little bit, unless you're, like, on, a, on the edge of a milestone, and, like, you really want to get that 265 box or something, and you're, like, one right away. Obviously, you could try to do that, but I think you need to start paying attention to the Endor raid now. We already have a list of the characters that we need to get good at for. We may as well try to be working on that. Um, in theory, we'll, we'll have more time after this raid. I, I don't. My guess is that we're not going to have a raid every six months after this. Like, like I said, test raid, and then hopefully, then we hit the real raid cadence. But at the end of the day, who knows, guys? Who knows? It might their raids just might be coming every six months, and that if that's the case, it's going to become an enormous distraction. It's going to be very difficult for any of our guilds to get more than just like the 265 box, or, or you know, even less. A lot of guilds are just never going to get to that point, and um. I will be putting out some planning videos pretty soon, guys, for the new raid and the Galactic Legend farm, all of that. Uh, the, I don't love the way they're doing, they've handled this raid, but that being said, Leia is at, coming out and that's exciting, you know, I was right about her being, uh, being released, but uh, as, as it stands, if we look at the history, again, Jabba was announced on July 19th of last year, and uh, uh, during the same year, he was released on September 20th. So if they follow the same cadence, I, like if, because it's it's already July, like what they announced it on July 5th, or J announced her on July 5th. Uh, and so I guess if they follow it exactly, then Leia would be released and unlockable on September 6th, which is not that far away, folks. Uh, two months is all it is. Not that it has to be that, but if, if it follows that cadence, which it wouldn't be surprising, uh, then it would. Now, we've got two new characters that have been announced that haven't, we haven't gotten their kits yet. Um, and so people are wondering, who are Nisa and who who's Drogon? These are the two other, like, probably marquee characters that are going to be released as requirements for... Galactic Legend Leia. Uh, so Nisa is an Ewok princess. She's in the the Ewok adventure movies, like way back in the day. I, I used to. I, I'm fine with it. Like there was a really badass Ewok with like this huge axe. Uh, he was he was way better, but she was fine. I like that she she has like this crystal that will like hypnotize spiders. So uh, that's cool. That may come in handy for all of us one day. Uh, Cal Drogo is the guy who married Princess Nisa. Oh, wait. No, Drogon is short for Crate Drogon Raid, obviously. I forgot about that. Now, actually, uh, so Drogon is a new character that CG made up. Is apparently an amputee who still fought on Endor. Uh, you know, what, what do you call a man with no arms and no legs on the floor? Matt, what do you call a man with 
uh, less than four arms and legs uh, on Endor, Drogon. He's a made-up character, just like Sorty is, like the, the droid, 50 RT, and uh, the Geobrute Alpha. CG is allowed to create new characters as long as they work within the world, and so they wanted it, I mean, you know, they, they said a thing about how they needed to uh, be more inclusive or whatever. I mean, I, I know that that, I, I don't want to get into politics on it. I, I do know that that's... Um, Something that Disney absolutely does push, though. So, um, uh, you know, that being said, like, are we going to get Klee Lars next? Or what about, like, the Wrath Tar that gets its, like, uh, some of its tentacles chopped off by Rey when it's trying to tow Finn into certain doom? Uh, we could get Pond Ponda Boba. Baba. <laughs> the other Baba. Um, you know, the, the guy who got his... The, arm chopped off by by what's his name yeah we, we could do that that would be cool we could just have like an amputee tag i i don't know i i don't mean to be i should be real clear guys i'm not I'm not insensitive to the, to that group of people i, I just um it, it's it's a little bit fun they're, they're like hey yeah let's like make up a character that they people have never seen he was on endor yeah he could be on endor he doesn't have all of his limbs, apparently, uh, but but he's still fighting. Like, he's not cool enough to be able to like. They're like, nope, sorry, commanders and and you know more. Like, commanders in higher are the only ones we're we're gonna give like a new limb to. Like Luke, sure, oh yeah, sure, yeah, you're a commander, yeah, we'll get you a new hand. Like, so sorry, Drogon. Like, nope, you just have to go to war without them. Like, we're still gonna make you fight. You you don't have a limb. You still have to fight. Like it, it just—I <laughs> don't know. It's, it just seems a little silly to me, far-fetched. Like the, I guess we'll wait till the character released, and and maybe it'll it'll probably make sense. Frankly, um. All right, so Malakos is coming out. He's a new conquest character. Yeah, he's gonna be good, guys. I, I read his kit, and man, I, I was. If you read Sears kit right next to it, it's he's like custom built for Seer and her squad. Like he is bonkers good he is, he is cr like i am really excited for him in fact i'm excited for prevail man to be working on that i'll probably be putting out some kind of a conquest guide to try to unlock mal malakos as soon as we can i like that everyone just has mal at the start of their name it's, hey, hello i'm malgus hello i'm malakos hello i'm malik hello we're all on mal stare uh, that's the wrong planet. I mean, that is a planet, but <laughs> it just gets ludicrous. You also can't see his chin either. It's a conspiracy, folks. Uh, so, yeah, he also has a thing where he can stack offense every time he does crits, and it stacks offense for the leader as well, I, I believe. Um, and, and so... Supreme Leader Kylo and Rey would also ramp their damage. I'm not really convinced that they're going to be best with him. I think Seer Lead is going to be too good there. Um, and we also got Leviathan's kit, folks. And I guess, uh, here, look, we can turn my face off for a sec. You can see the Leviathan destroying the boat. Uh, so the whole kit, and I'm, I'm really not going to get into the Levi Leviathan kit, because who knows how it's really going to play. We didn't we didn't even get screenshots. It's just like, here, have a have a kit. Like, they just like released a bunch of words, just word vomited. And it's basically just the Leviathan is just taking over the opponent's ship, which is kind of cool in some ways, but I'm like, we're pirates now? Like, it, it doesn't seem as cool as just calling up the Death Star to destroy, just annihilate another ship. And um, similarly, I, I guess, like, we're pirates? Whatever, I don't really care. If that's that what they want to do, that, that's fine. I guess the question is, like, Maybe that's just, that's why it's called Leviathan, because that's what it does to other ships. Like, it just finds ships and just, like, pillages them. I don't know, guys. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are, though. Do you want the new raid to be awesome? <laughs> are you excited for it? Are you excited for Galactic Legend Leia? I'm excited for all of it. I think Malakos is the one I'm the most excited for. I would love to hear what your guys' thoughts are. However, um, so, thank you all so much for watching, and remember that in all things... Zareth prevails.